All right. Welcome to Professional Scrum with Jira. I am professional scrum trainer Ryan Ripley. This gentleman over here is professional scrum trainer Todd Miller. We are professional scrum trainers with scrum.org. All right. If you want to learn more about how to use Jira software, right, uh, head on over to Atlassian University, university.atlassian.com. There you'll find tons of self paced training resources to help you become an expert at Jira software. Now today, Todd and I are going to be talking about the daily scrum and how to how to perform professional scrum with Jira in the context of the daily scrum. And so let's jump right into what the daily scrum is. The daily scrum is an opportunity for the developers to get together and figure out a plan on how they're going to collaborate and work towards their sprint goal over the next 24 hours. They might take a look at a board like this that could represent their current sprint backlog, take a look at what's stuck, what's not moving, who could need help. The whole purpose here is to plan out a, 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 a plan for the day to optimize their chances of making progress towards their sprint goal. It's a 15 minute event time box so that the only topic is their plan for collaboration. This is not a status meeting. This is not a solutioning meeting. The, the pure intent is to, to inspect their sprint, their progress towards the sprint goal, inspect their sprint backlog and their adaptation is a plan for the day that gives them a chance at making good progress towards their sprint goal. Now, Todd is going to take a look at what this looks like in JIRA. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. So uh, first off, I'll say we are over here. We are in the board mode in JIRA. And in this particular uh, case, we have um, uh, created a custom workflow that will help us create that transparency and understand and inspect our progress towards the sprint goal. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to bring sprinkles and show sprinkles in Jira. Uh, right now, we just put a product backlog item that sits in here and to do. We also have our retrospective improvement. And so what this board comes and tells us, right, as we're a team develop of developers <clears throat> working together, trying to accomplish a sprinkle, uh, we come in here and we look and we say, you know, we have this custom workflow with this opportunity to maybe pull some work. And because our sprinkle is here and it says attend, attendees of scrum training understand the accountabilities, we can look down and we could say, you know, I think we have an opportunity to pull something here. Uh, and this one relates to the accountabilities, which relates to our sprinkle. I think we may uh, we may uh, start this in our, in our design <clears throat> um, column here. Uh, we also may look at these other product backlog items that we have that we're working on in the sprint and talk about the progress of them, right? The opportunity here is to inspect progress towards the sprinkle and adapt a plan for the next 24 hours, like Ryan mentioned. Um, so another really useful thing that we find here is days remaining in the sprint, right? This gives us the opportunity to know how many days are remaining so that we can question uh, whether we really are going to be able to live up the expectations of completing this commitment called the sprint goal by the end of the sprint. So uh, really great that you can come in, you can view a board collectively as a group of developers, <clears throat> right? You can configure the, uh, the, the the workflow in a way that makes sense. You can add work in progress limits if you're using, um, you know, trying to optimize flow and uh, really gives you opportunity to create transparency around progress towards the sprinkle. What do you think, Ryan? Yeah, I think it's really great. All of the wonderful insights that Jira allows for. And so as you can see, we can take this very simple concept and use a tool like Jira to have a, a powerful view into uh, what our potential plan could be for the next 24 hours, which is the entire purpose of the sprint goal, right? So I think that's a, a great walkthrough, Todd, and it's a, it's a good reminder of the purpose of the daily scrum, again, to create a plan for the next 24 hours. It is by and for the developers, 15-minute time box. And if you approach it this way, the way that we've laid out in both theory and in JIRA, you too could be performing professional scrum. All right, let's, uh, let's head on back to right here. We want to thank you for watching. We want to thank you for uh, your interest in professional scrum with Jira. Remember, head on over to university.atlassian.com if you'd like to find more videos uh, about becoming an expert at Jira software. There's a ton of self-paced training resources there for you. For Todd Miller, I'm Ryan Ripley. We hope this was helpful. Go forward and do some great professional scrum. We'll see you next time.